zoo animals is because it, it's, uh, it's gratifying and um, it's different, it's out of the ordinary. Um, and it gives me some different experiences to apply to everyday ferry, uh, things that you wouldn't necessarily uh, get to see and, and it helps you develop things uh, to use that are maybe out of the box. That's, I think that's the biggest reason why I, I do zoo animals and, and it's different. Uh, first, I would, I would really recommend uh, building a good relationship with the vets at whatever place that they're at because you may see things that others won't or, or maybe the vets don't understand and it might be something that they are scared to try but if you build a good relationship with your vets uh, they, they're more than happy to try things and you're probably going to have more of a success and, and be humble is what I would say don't go in there thinking that you've got the answers So we're working on a kudu at the Denver Zoo that seems to be prone to abscessing and he's got some uh, interesting confirmation um, in both his front feet, his claws, uh, the, the, I believe it's the lateral claw on both front feet, no it's the medial claw on both front feet are slightly abnormal and uh, the pedal bone is a little bit larger and, um, and wants to curve in. And in the way he, his posture is and the way he uses his feet, he seems to, if you don't consistently trim him and pay attention to those things, uh, he'll get bacteria traps where uh, he begins to abscess. And one of the challenges that we found with uh, zoo animals is in a domestic horse, for an example, you can, you know, the owner can come and clean it out and soak it and, and wrap it and keep a bandage on it and keep them confined. These animals, when you wrap, wrap their foot or put a bandage on, they'll chew it off within a few, I mean, 20, 20 minutes of putting something foreign on their, their limb. So I ended up, we ended up having to come up with a, a system or um, solve a problem uh, and not getting manure and stuff packed in once we'd open those abscesses. And what we did was we took some um, oakum and we took Caratex and we made basically a wick out of it. And we made a space where that the abscess could drain and then we would take Equilox and cover that. So the abscess was still allowed to drain without having pressure on the sensitive part of the foot. And it seems to um, to heal fairly quickly that way. It'll heal from the inside out and allows that to go away without leaving it open, without having to go through and clean it out multiple times. So it's, it's been very helpful in, in transferring that into you know, domestic horses as well. It's been five weeks, so the last time there was an extended period of time, the kudu had gotten off the uh, schedule and we had some other things come up where he kind of got pushed on the back burner, so it had been uh, maybe seven months or so since he had been trimmed and sure enough he, he ended up developing those abscesses right away and they had been cleared up probably for a good eight months. So uh, then we went ahead and did that procedure on three of the four hooves that had an active abscess that was draining and five weeks later when we came back they were all cleared up.